One of the secrets to slow cooking is to be robust and really get stuck in. Big, bold flavors work brilliantly well. So don't be precious. This is gutsy cooking at its absolute best. These are lamb breasts, a beautiful cheap cut, and it's sort of tucked alongside the rib. They've been boned out, the skin has been taken off. I'm gonna roll them, stuff them, and braise them. Braising simply means cooking in liquid on a low heat, making the meat divinely tender. Now, open them up and give them a really good season. Season them both sides, inside and out. Really important. It doesn't look like a real weighty, dense cut of meat, but once it's beautifully slow braised, it's just like melting lamb. It's incredible. I'm going to season the breasts with some dried oregano. Put a heat in there, some chili flakes, lemon zest. Put some amazing salted anchovies in there now. They almost melt inside the lamb. So the balance of flavors work beautifully. Now, pull it down towards you and roll that nice and tightly. That's what I'm looking for. String. We just need to tie them three times. One at each end and one in the middle. I fell in love with this dish years ago when I first started working in Paris, because we had all the lamb in from the Pyrenees. Nice thing is, they can be done the day before. Pan on, olive oil in. Get that oil nice and hot. Lamb in. Really important to get some nice color on there. Whilst they're browning, slice the onion. The lamb's gonna be cooking for two and a half hours. So don't slice the onions too thinly, otherwise they'll burn. Garlic and leave whole. Got the color on them. Look at that. Beautiful. Take them out. Onions in and garlic. Straight in. Lovely. That's the secret about slow braising. You never change pans. Why? All the goodness is in that one pan. A few chili seeds in there. Oregano. Nice pinch. A little bit of lemon in there. I'm gonna do the onions, what I did to the lamb. Next, my capers. Fry them off. Get them exploding in the bottom of the pan. They get nice and crispy. Next, my black olives. Now, white wine. Mmm, bring that up to the boil. Deglazing the pan as well. A rinse in the bottom of that pan. And now the flavor in there is just extraordinary. Now, we add our tomatoes. Let's puncher those plum tomatoes. Then simply place the lamb breast back in the pot and remember to taste. Mm, that's nice. Lid on. Into the oven. 170, two, two and a half hours, and forget about it. Whoa, beautiful. All that has reduced down to this amazing, nice tomato sauce. And the lamb has kept its color. Look at that, it's braised beautifully. Very carefully, get your little bits there. Slice off, pull off the little bits of string. This is why I get really excited. The secret is not to slice it too thinly. Look at that. You can smell the lemon. It's hard to believe when you slice through the center there that that is a very cheap cut of meat. I'm salivating. I love this. I mean, it's just incredible. Pick up the tomatoes and the olives and the onions. An amazing, rich sauce. Take your lamp and sort of just sit it on. It looks incredible. And that, for me, is why chefs get so excited with cheap cuts, because the end results are incredible. Delicious breast of lamb with lemon, anchovies, chili, and oregano. Great in fresh ginger, 
add dry shiitake mushrooms that have been soaked in water. I'm just hitting the bottom of the pan with that tomato puree. And we call it cooking out the tomato puree. 